Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'll be doing Honest Trailers Birds of Prey. Um, I have not seen this movie. I actually have no plans to see this movie, so I'm just gonna see was it worth skipping or should I go back and watch it? Excuse me. Um, I'm curious. I've been hearing things that bit that's been not been that good. Um, so they might roast it. I don't know how it's gonna go. Um, will they compare it to Suicide Squad? Honestly, I have no idea. Remember to go down below, click the links, like, comment, sub, so on and so forth. And as I said before, I'll be doing videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from now on just to give myself a breather during the week. I work in retail, so I'm quite busy this day and age. So let's just get into this. Are you stuck in doors like the rest of us, wondering how you can help? Click the link below to support Direct Relief. They provide personal protective equipment and essential medical items to health workers responding to coronavirus. Please do your part and give what you can. True. In a world where Warner Brothers wishes Jared Leto never existed. Yeah. In fact, we're all Suicide Squad with a lie. Forget it ever happened. I knew the he'd one say it somewhere. about the film has been plucked from an early grave and given her own squad. Just don't let her do the tattoos this time. You spelled the tattoo I, I, I was writing a word and I spelled it wrong. <laughs> A good time to be pretty. Birds of Prey. Yeah. And the... I'm not reading that part out loud. Meet the Birds of Prey. Meet the new Harley Quinn. Eventually. A lot of people in this city want me dead. Any minute now. The perfect egg sandwich. No? Okay, fine. Meet Harley Quinn. After a breakup with Jared Leto's body double, she's out to prove she's more than just a lady joker. So she's forming her own criminal gang, but not taking it seriously, while cracking jokes in clown makeup and using goofy weapons to fight a rich guy dressed in black. Huh, this doesn't really seem like much of an emancipation to me. Hmm. More of a sparkly do-over? That's not very scrumptulescent. Not even wubtubulous if you ask me. Explore Gotham City like you've never seen it before. In the daylight. Ew. Weird, but threatening to conquer it all is a homicidal trust fund kid in blackface. I mean black mask, <laughs> but also blackface. <coughs> I got it when I was embedded with the Mgami tribe in Congo, Kinshasa. Ewan McGregor shines as the owner of the world's worst club to hang out at. Get on that <laughs> table. Now dance. Who okay. blends the lines between sadistic mob boss, bro culture avatar, and just gay enough to hope it slides past the censors in China? So, are you guys gay in the movie? It's very complicated. Their relationships is, is very much yeah. uh, based in there's a want and a need in there for yeah. sure. As he has yeah, his way into line. another great villain performance that'll get ripped on for decades because he's different than the guy in the comics. Really looking forward to hearing about this and the Mandarin until the sun explodes. <laughs> Gathered to stop him are the titular birds of prey. This is our story. Uh, almost. Can we just fast forward to them teaming up? We're gonna have to work together. Really? That there long? We go. There's Huntress, a realistic portrayal of how awkward an orphan who trained to become a murder hobo would actually be. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Cassandra Kane. A kid. Sorry, kid. A kid! Keep the kid alive! Price on the kid's head. You've got the wrong kid. Come on, kid. Kid, 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 Renee Montoya, a cop with a special power to, okay, she's just a cop, and Black Canary. She sings really loud and, uh, kicks good and stuff. I'm just saying, I know more about Katana than these ladies, and I only know four things about Katana. One. This is Katana. Two. She's got my back. Three. I would advise not getting killed by her. And four. Her sword traps Basically, the Basically, should have got her in the body. DC does not stand for developed characters. So suit up for an R-rated ride that's more Bugs Bunny than Batman. Who that for me, boy? But combines a great cast with awesome fight sequences to make this hot topic version of Beyonce's Lemonade that will thrill and delight your inner teenager. But since it's rated R for no good reason, went unseen by actual teenagers. Guess you couldn't tell the story right without turning that guy's leg into spaghetti. <laughs> Starring 
Dr. Quinn, all for medicine woman. Hmm. Hello, my name is Rene Montoya. You stole my promotion. Prepare to die. Obi-Wan Jabroni. Sonic Boom. Ramona Glowers. Diamond Digest Forever. Scar Tissue that I'll make you saw. The hottest nightclub in Gotham is the Black Mask Club. This place has everything. Broken legs, sad lounge singers, a single narrow room with no dance floor, and the scared Erica. It's the thing where your name is Erica, and the creepy owner of the club makes you get on a table and dance to no music. Always DA Baby, Dr. Marvin Candle, Joe Exotic 2020, and Jared Leto. You don't know who that is? Well, sounds like a dick. Insane Clowns Posse. Mm -hmm. So for what I can that gather. Should never partake in paying federal income taxes. Whoa, I didn't miss anything taxes of the good miss. For Bernie? Now that's some Joker stuff. Thanks for watching, and once again. Yeah, so I'm guessing uh, I didn't miss much. It looks like a dry, long, drawn out movie. Um, not my cup of tea. Um, let me know down below, what did you think of the movie? Did it get a fair shake in the cinemas? Um, did the critics just share all over because they could um, what was your best part in the movie who would you have liked to have seen in the movie or who would you like to have seen get their own movie besides Harley Quinn um, leave your comments down below also what you want me to react to next like comment sub <clears throat> and I will see you all in the next reaction bye